the number of Americans living with diabetes is soaring, and a good chunk of them don't even know they have it. The Centers for Disease Control's latest report says more than 29 million Americans, roughly 1 in 11, have the disease. That's up more than 3 million from the last report three years ago, and 1 in 4 are undiagnosed. We've been hearing a lot of scary facts about diabetes rates lately. A study released last month found the rate of diabetes in kids rose 21 percent in the 2000s, a trend healthcare workers say is getting worse. I'm a pediatrician. I should be taking care of um, colds, temper tantrums, and potty training. And last month, I had six new diabetics. Another found rates in adults had doubled over the last 20 years. And if looking backward wasn't scary enough, Katie Couric's documentary, Fed Up, highlighted a startling prediction. By 2050, one out of every three Americans will have diabetes. But it's not just the U.S. getting bad news. The U.K.'s rise in diabetes rates recently passed that of the U.S., and a full third of Brits have elevated blood sugar, a precursor to diabetes. The silver lining is that part of the increase in rates is due to better treatments. When people with diabetes live longer, the overall rate rises. But while drugs are always improving, the best treatment plans are still lifestyle-related, including healthy diet and exercise. The report also estimated that diabetes cost the U.S. nearly a quarter of a trillion dollars in medical treatments and lost work. For Newsium, Zach Toombs.